Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here that I'm wearing um, with the new Smashbox. This is their cover shot in the Smoky Eye Palette. Um, and this is my first time using this palette, so um, I wanted to create a really fun smoky green eye because, let's face it, that's the reason that I bought this palette right here was for that amazing green color. Um, I'm obsessed with green eyeshadows. Um, so if you want to see how to get this look, you are in the right place. Just keep on watching. All right, so I have you guys zoomed in super close so that you can see everything that I am putting on my eyes. And I'm gonna start with the Smashbox 24 Hour Shadow Primer. It seemed kind of fitting if I was using the Smashbox eyeshadows that I use their eye primer as well. Alrighty, and then we're using one of the cover shot palettes today. I'm still super enamored of the packaging. Um, we're using the Smoky Eye Palette, and the inside looks like this. And these colors are just so pretty. Um, I've seen a lot of kind of mixed reviews on um, these palettes here, so I'm excited to try it. I haven't dipped into it yet. I've just watched it a little bit, so this will be the first time that I'm putting this on my eyeballs. So I'm going to lay down the primer with this kind of flesh tone color there. Alrighty, and then I'm going to go in with this kind of matte brown here in my crease. That's going to be my transition color. You want to just get everybody nice and blended. And I'm taking this color all the way through my crease and then when there's only just the slightest bit of product left on the brush, I'm taking it up just a little bit. I tend to have uh, very creasy eyes, um, probably a little bit hooded. So I always have to bring just a little bit of color up, otherwise when I open my eye, the whole crease color gets lost. Alrighty, that looks pretty even. Okay, good. Alright, and then I'm going to take um, just this stunning, stunning emerald color, and I'm going to put that through the first um, half to two thirds of my lid. I want to make this kind of the predominant color. And then we're going to smoke it out with a little bit of this matte gray as well. Um, but I'm just really excited to use this green shadow, I'm not going to lie. I'm just using padding motions to try to lay down a lot of this color because I do want it rather vibrant. It doesn't look like I'm getting a lot of fallout which is really exciting 
Um, I was a little nervous about that, so I haven't put on my regular makeup yet because I didn't want to have to go back in. <laughs> Tried to deal with a uh, green fallout. But I'm really, really liking this color. Oh, I spoke too soon. There is a little bit of fallout in the lash line, um, which I'll probably go in and clean up just a little bit. Um, I am going to take this um, initial transition shade here, sweep it under the lash line here in a few minutes. Um, but I think, yeah, see, I just scratched and uh, I don't know if you can tell real well, but it displays some of that green there. So once I get the gray on, I'm going to go in with a makeup remover wipe and... Um, clean up some of that fallout a little bit. But for now, I'm gonna take this beautiful dark gray matte color and I'm gonna put that in the outer V. Ah, I think that's looking really nice. It's nice and dark and intense. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in with that original brush that I used for my transition shade, and without adding any additional product, I'm just going to blend a little bit so that everything kind of works together a little bit, and we soften the edges. There we go. Okay, so before I do anything else, I'm going to go in with just a makeup remover wipe to kind of clean up some of this fallout a little bit. Okay, so that is all of the fallout. So not the worst ever, but still since we're using such dark pigmented colors, definitely want to make sure to get that business handled. So I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back and finish off the eyes. Alrighty, so I have the rest of my face on. Um, I just put on a little bit of a wing, just a real small one. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and take on just um, a small, the brush that I use for my crease actually. I'm just going to take a little bit of that uh, matte brown color and sweep it just underneath my lash line. Making that awesome face. Alrighty, and then I'm also going to take just a really precise kind of um, buffing brush, I guess. I don't know what this is called. Uh, but I'm going to use that to smudge just a little bit of that green right up against my lower lash line. And I'm only going to go about half of the way in. Alrighty, and then lastly, I'm going to take that same brush that we used to sweep the brown and just buff out a little bit so that we don't have any harsh lines. Make it 
Oh, nice and smoky. Perfect. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to go ahead and do is finish off my eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of my ColourPop um, gel eyeliner just in my waterline. It's also what I used to tight line. And then put on some mascara. Then for mascara today, I'm using my YSL Baby Doll Mascara. It's okay. Um, it doesn't last all day on me. It does tend to kind of smudge underneath my eyes. Um, so just be aware of that. But otherwise, it's not bad formula. Alrighty, so there you have it. This is the finished look that I created using this Smashbox palette. And overall, I liked it. Um, it is definitely got some fallout, which I mentioned before, so just really be aware of that so that you can uh, make sure to take steps to keep that from being an issue. Um, but overall, I felt that the colors, they blended really well, and I really enjoyed using this palette, so I definitely would recommend it and it makes me that much more excited to go get some of the other um, color ranges that is in this release so I hope that you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for taking some time to hang out with me and um, do your makeup maybe definitely give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe before you leave have a wonderful week and I will see you next time bye